I recently made a video called WTF is Upward Compression where I talk about the difference between a traditional downward style compressor and upward compression. Now, 99% of everything that I said in that video is totally accurate, but there was one spot where I made a mistake, and that is during the demonstration phase where I talk about what an upward compressor sounds like. Now, what I showed in the video is actually a combination of upward compression and downward compression. That was something I should have caught right away, and I just missed it. Despite what some people may think, I am human, so I do occasionally make mistakes. And just because I sometimes wear a lab coat doesn't mean that I'm always right. So I figured I'd make a quick video to demonstrate what upward compression sounds like when it is just by itself and not conflated with also downward compression like I showed in that video. I want to give a huge shout out to Henning Pfeiffer and Ben Malott. These are two viewers that brought to my attention by comments and emails. So thank you so, so much for reaching out when you notice something might have looked a little strange. You have my word that if I find out that I said something that's inaccurate or someone brings a mistake that I made to my attention, I will absolutely go back, add to the description and try to fix that problem so that we don't spread misinformation among the audio community. Thank you for the years of support and I look forward to bringing you more interesting and factually accurate videos. Now, let's see what upper compression actually sounds like. I grabbed two different loops just to showcase upward compression a few different ways. The plugin we'll be using to show upward compression is this one by Waves. It's called MV2. It has a upward compressor here and actually a downward compressor here. So I'm just going to crank this up so you can really hear the sound of upward compression. And this is going to very quickly clip our signal. So I'm going to offset the output volume a lot just to make up for that. The beauty of this plugin is it's very simple to do upper compression. You literally just push this up. The downside is you don't have a lot of control. In the second half of this demonstration, I'll show you another plugin that gives you more options. Again, as a really quick reminder, the upward compression effect is going to occur once the level drops below a threshold. Okay, so you're not going to hear any compression happening on the transients. It's going to happen in between the notes or at the quieter parts of the audio. So really focus your attention there. Here we go with out. with without with without so I think it's pretty obvious how it increases the ambience uh, let's go to the other loop that I have. I'll start with this off. With. Without. With. Another plugin you can use to do upper compression is by FabFilter. It's Pro MB. Uh, the way that you would set that up is to actually just make one big band here. And then it's, when you have it on compression mode, you're going to take the range and then just push it up. Okay, this is going to put it in upward compression mode. Now, this is going to act the exact same way as that last plugin, except now we have the ability to adjust the attack and release settings. I'm going to put the attack and release as fast as possible just so you can really hear it reacting. And then this gives us the ability to dial in the threshold for when the upward compression starts. Okay, so let's hear it on this last track again. So the only time the upward compression happens is when the volume drops below our threshold. That's when you're going to hear that increase in ambience. So let's dial this up so it hits just the transients. And you can really go crazy with this and put the range really high. Now, one downside to going way over the top of this is you actually bring up your noise floor. But with this plugin, what we can do is actually just add another band right here. 
and then put this into what's called downward expansion mode just by clicking the expand and then we can actually bring the range down and what this is going to do is now anytime that the volume drops below this threshold it's going to rapidly decrease it okay so it's going to get rid of that noise this will absolutely be a topic in an upcoming video but i just wanted to mention what else you can do to solve that potential problem thanks again for watching